The following video is intended for mature audiences. It contains horror elements, adult themes, and language that might not be suitable for younger viewers. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, a 1974 film directed by Toby Hooper, is a significant part of American horror cinema. Its grim and relentless atmosphere sets it apart from other movies in the genre. The film's terror doesn't stem solely from its graphic violence, but also from the psychological fear that lingers long after the movie ends. Unlike many horror films that rely on supernatural elements or over-the-top villains, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre focuses on something more basic. It reveals a terrifying look into the wild side of humanity. As societal norms fall apart in this film's world, characters become victims, leading viewers to think about how easily such a fate could happen to anyone. The story of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is simple, yet effective. A group of friends led by Sally Hardesty travel through rural Texas following news of grave desecration in Sally's family region. Their journey takes a horrific turn when they come across an isolated house occupied by a family of cannibalistic psychopaths, including Leatherface, one of cinema's most notorious villains. This straightforward narrative highlights the film's strength. Instead of using complicated plot twists to create fear, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre relies on constant tension, frightening unpredictability, and an eerie setting that captures viewers from start to finish. With its minimalist plot structure and dialogue, these elements intensify the terror by removing any sense of safety or comforting explanation. What makes the Texas Chainsaw Massacre stand out among typical slasher movies is its disturbing exploration into what happens when the human mind is pushed to its darkest limits. Leatherface an intimidating mute character wearing a terrifying mask made from human skin plays a key role in this psychological terror. But it's not his physical features that make him so scary. It's his unclear motives and profound psychosis. Leatherface isn't your average slasher villain. He's not portrayed as inherently evil or sadistic, but as a being shaped by his surroundings, a product of the distorted family dynamics of the Sawyers. His violence seems instinctual, adding an unsettling complexity to his character. The Sawyer family represents a horrifying distortion of the traditional family structure. Each member has been warped into their role within this nightmare house. The cruel, manipulative cook who tries to maintain some normality. The unstable hitchhiker whose unpredictability keeps viewers on edge. And Grandpa, a powerless yet respected figure. This distortion of family bonds adds to the film's psychological horror. The Sawyer's behavior is shockingly perverse, but seen as normal within their own twisted context. An alarming demonstration of how easily the human mind can twist and justify even the most horrific actions. There's no clear reason behind their cannibalistic lifestyle. They kill not out of need or hatred, but simply because it's what they do. This apathetic lack of reasoning is more terrifying than any explanation. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre stands out from other horror films Due to its unique setting, the vast, desolate Texas landscape becomes a character in itself. The film's raw, documentary-like filming style gives it an authenticity that some polished horror films lack. The dry, sun-scorched environment emphasizes the character's isolation and vulnerability, turning the countryside into a terrifying labyrinth where help cannot be found. The film's director, Toby Hooper and cinematographer Daniel Pearl, capture this raw energy perfectly. There's a sense of claustrophobia in every scene, even in the open spaces. The house filled with human bones and animal remains is horrifying yet captivating. It's a haunted house unlike traditional gothic mansions seen in other horror films. It's dirty, decaying, and eerily natural, a reflection of inner turmoil. Sound heightens the fear factor. The film's soundtrack is simple mainly consisting of unsettling ambient noises and abrasive sounds. Leatherface's chainsaw's high-pitched noise 
The creepy hum of machinery and the victim's painful screams create an intense sensory attack that confuses viewers and pulls them deeper into the nightmare. A notable feature of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is its early use of the final girl trope, a common element now in horror cinema. Marilyn Burns plays Sally Hardesty, one of the first and most famous final girls, whose survival isn't due to her strength or intelligence, but her determination to survive. Sally changes from a happy traveler to a traumatized victim, which is deeply disturbing. By the end of the film, her escape isn't a win. She's broken, hysterical, and permanently affected by what she has seen. Her survival isn't good defeating evil, but an act of desperation, a basic fight for survival. What makes Sally's character powerful is how her experience affects her emotionally, fear, tiredness and pure panic are visible in every action she takes. By the end of the film, she's not just running from Leatherface, she's escaping from the nightmare itself, a nightmare that will undoubtedly continue to haunt her. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of the most influential horror films ever made, not only for its violence, but for its atmosphere, psychological horror, and lack of easy answers. It explores a deep fear of rural isolation hidden insanity on the outskirts of society, and darkness within humans when societal rules are absent. The film's mix of horror, realism, and psychological terror set a new standard for the genre influencing many films that came after it. Its impact can be seen in everything, from slasher films like Halloween to survival horror subgenres, and its influence on filmmakers like Wes Craven and Rob Zombie is clear. What truly makes the Texas Chainsaw Massacre unique is its ability to go beyond genre boundaries. It's not just about a man with a chainsaw. It looks into human psyche fragility and internal darkness within each person and brings up the horrifying possibility that anyone can become monstrous under extreme conditions. As someone deeply affected by the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I put it among the scariest films I've seen. It masterfully combines suspense, atmosphere, and psychological terror that stays with you long after the movie ends. Toby Hooper's skill at making a film that blends reality with surreal elements shows his exceptional talent as a filmmaker. For those looking for genuine horror, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is essential viewing. This film doesn't rely on predictable jump scares or excessive violence, though it does have some gruesome scenes. Instead, it subtly gets into your mind planting seeds of unease that grow into full-blown fear as the story progresses. This isn't a movie to watch passively. It demands your attention, captures your senses, and holds them until the end. In terms of horror cinema overall, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre stands out as an excellent achievement, a film that changed the genre and continues to scare viewers 50 years later. It's a horror classic whose impact is still felt. For fans of this genre, it's an experience not to be missed. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a psychological splatter teen B-horror that is 1 hour and 23 minutes and is rated R. I look forward to reviewing the remake done in 2003 at a later date. The Southern Underworld gives this horror classic five bloody knives. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Thank you for watching.